Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Pardon me while I get the camera set up just right. Any questions, comments, concerns, or more importantly, suggestions from you, please send them along to me at aonic underscore email address at the top of the screen up here, and we'll be glad to feature what we can when it comes to anything involving your suggestions on this. We try to get you updated on as much about the weather as we possibly can, so you are informed when you can't tune into News Channel 3. This should be available to you so you can get an idea as to what's happening with the weather. So a very warm weekend in progress. Not as warm as yesterday though. No heat advisory in effect. That's something we haven't been able to say for quite some time. Getting into the rest of the week. First day of school coming up. A lot of teachers and kids and administrators hitting the schools and the classrooms and getting ready for yet another semester. It's going to be a hot one out there. And also some activity down in the tropics. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Temperatures today. Your forecast bar on the red down below. Temperatures back in the lower 90s today across parts of the area. Pretty close to normal for this time of the year and then back into the mid to upper 70s for much of the area for low temperatures tonight and so far just not seeing too much of anything this morning so far in the way of showers or thunderstorms coming up so definitely good news on that but for the rest of the day today we should be looking at temperatures very much on the warm side. Lowest temperatures we could find on WeatherNet 3 this morning back into the lower to mid 70s. Let's take a look at what's going on around the area. Yesterday's high temperature 93 degrees in Memphis. It could always be worse. Temperatures over 20 degrees hotter in Death Valley, California yesterday at about maybe 115 degrees or so in that particular location. I'd like to see more about that. Go to the Weather Prediction Center from the National Weather Service. They keep track of the national high and low temperature for the lower 48 states. Great opportunity to keep up to date on what's going on there. Our exclusive and firmly tongue-in-cheek cough temp decks. Checking the cough temperature selection index for again the corresponding temperature as sort of a nice little idea as to what type of coffee you may think about drinking but once again if you get a brain freeze or burn yourself because you drank hot coffee straight out of the cup when it's boiling right out of the carafe well that's that's your problem but in the meantime looking like it should be a great day for iced frothy coolness instead of a rather steamy hot cup of java so just something to think about there sunshine galore a little bit of sunshine mixed in with clouds a creek occasionally at Graceland home of the king of rock and roll and if you're in town for Elvis week activities coming up up soon. Welcome to the Mid-South. Ole Miss campus clouds, not much rainfall out there, and a few joggers and strollers out across the area this morning heading out for a little bit of a jog in Oxford, Mississippi before classes get going. Former Mayor of Olive Branch Sam Reichard's webcam around the City Hall area of Olive Branch, Mississippi on the Weather Underground Network showing a lot of clouds out there drifting on in from the west and more cloud cover activity throughout the course of the rest of the next couple of days mixed in with the sunshine. Very close to normal for yesterday. High of 93. 92 is spot on normal for this time of the year. 74 normal low. High temperature or low temperature yesterday in the high 70s. Record high of 103 today set back in 1934. And wouldn't that be nice? A record low of only 61 degrees that was set about 12 years ago in 2004. Rather much on the cool side there. Earthquakes, nothing to report directly in the Mid South. One earthquake just north of the area, and that was featured as of last night at about 11 o'clock or so just after that. So if you felt anything from this, please let the United States Geological Survey or the uh Center for Earthquake Research and Information know about this and you can help citizen science find out more about how things like this work. Again, it was not directly in the area, but if you'd like to know more about this, just please go to the website uh, for Seri at memphis.edu memphis slash CERI and then also you can go to the United States Geological Survey for more information about what goes on there at earthquakes.usgs.gov. This was a 2.3 magnitude earthquake set off 24 seismic stations and a depth of about six miles at 11.23 p.m. Saturday night. No rainfall to report yesterday in Memphis. We're behind for the month and ahead for the year. So doing very nicely on rainfall for 2016. Could definitely use some more for August, hopefully getting more in there soon. Wildfire danger remains low across the area, so good news on that, thanks to the fact that we've had some decent amounts of rainfall, but we still have some minor and increasing drought potential, especially across northern Mississippi, so something to consider there. But as of right now, no burn bans have been issued for Mid-South counties. Uh, Tennessee does not issue burn bans unless it's on an extremely needed basis and a very dry situation out there banning stuff like fireworks but Arkansas and Mississippi at this time their four 
forestry divisions not showing anything in the way of burn bans taking place. The moon is at 20% 20 per, 20 of full, will rise today at 1047, set tonight at uh, 1049, and rise on Monday at 1141. We're losing daylight, 13 hours, 42 minutes today, about 13 hours, 40 minutes of daylight into tomorrow. So looking at less chances of daylight sticking around anytime soon as we go closer and closer toward autumn. Heading into the lower to mid 80s over the course of the next few days with numbers again back in, in the 80s early on and then chances of seeing some temperatures back in the lower 90s possible mixed in with that today. Heading into tonight, News Channel 3 at 10, close to that back in the mid to upper 70s to the lower 80s or so and then also showing again temperatures by the time we hit daybreak tomorrow morning going back into and around the area of the upper 60s to lower 70s. So rather a very warm start to the school year for a lot of kids out there. So make certain everybody dresses appropriately before they head out the door into the course of the next few days. Just something to think about there for safety's sake. Your seven day forecast numbers again on the hot side back into around the lower to mid 90s to mid to upper 80s today across much of the mid south and showing again some very nice conditions out across much of the area into around the rest of the forecast into for the rest of the next several days. Lower 90s for both Monday and Tuesday. The forecast again looking at some very nice numbers into again the next several days after that. We'll be looking at numbers a little bit on the warmer side out there as we get into the end of the week. Chances of showers and thunderstorms dwindle by a bit and the end of next weekend and temperatures remain very close to normal back in the lower 90s for highs, mid 70s for lows. Not a lot going to be changing anytime soon. It'd be nice but out there. want to remind you of this if you are traveling to the Gulf Coast states there is one disturbance in the area around Florida, which is going to be wandering through northeast Florida over the next several days, and that could drop 6 to 12 inches of rainfall in that location. A little bit farther out into the area of the Atlantic and close to the Caribbean, we've got another disturbance here, which is going to be wandering its way back up to the north and to the west. That could be impacting the Carolina coast states in the course of the next couple of days. That's something we're going to have to watch with a lot of interest as we go pretty soon, but so far this National Hurricane Center giving these a 10 and 20 percent chance of development, so it does not look like anything huge happening at this time. Tune in for your forecast throughout the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, and also don't forget about my forecast on Monday through Friday from radio weather into Memphis in the morning on AM 730, and right after that with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live, talking sports in the Mid-South area. If you'd like to know more about that, just tune in AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, and we'll have more on the forecast there. Updates on your forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, also at 10. And don't forget about Todd Demers' forecast, bright and early, coming up Monday morning at 4.30. Thank you, Mr. Todd, for working for me yesterday as I helped get my son ready to head to East Tennessee State University as he went for freshman orientation. I had to spend part of the time outdoors and away from the Memphis area in East Tennessee at Johnson City. So thank you very much, Tim and Todd, for pulling my shifts yesterday to help out on that. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More coming up at wrhg.com slash weather. And stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 later on tonight with your complete forecast.